Gary from Virginia says this. He says, I am fully vaccinated as of May 2021. I don't feel protected anymore. Maybe you can address that and want the booster sooner than later. Are the original vaccinations effective eight plus months or are we waiting for a booster shot when our vaccines drop in effectiveness? Why do we have to wait? Well, that, that, that's a great question. And what the yeah, COVID task force has basically said is they signaled, hey, look, we're seeing some safety signals in terms of uh, waning antibodies. So they're trying to be proactive. So maybe not waiting until they see numbers of hospitalizations and things like that go up. Um, we'll see how the CDC and the FDA treat this because this still has to go through the official processes and then be formally recommended by the CDC. And right now, you know, I, I got to say the vaccines still work really well. We talk a lot about antibodies waning. People care more about the patients than their blood. Let me show you something out of LA. I love showing graphics like this because I think they tell a story of what has happened with the vaccines overall. The dash line you see going up in, in, to, in the upper right corner there, that is the unvaccinated people in the hospital. This is going through the end of last month, and you can see the bottom lines are flat, almost against the bottom there, are the vaccinated. Unbelievable. And partially vaccinated, even slightly above that. I wanna just keep showing these graphics because as we talk about boosters and everything, and people say, well, my vaccines are wearing off, <clears throat> in terms of the things that matter most, they're, they're really not. They're staying pretty effective for, for some time. How long will they last? I don't think we can say for sure. But in the past, you know, there's vaccines that can last, you know, years and you get boosters every now and then. So we'll see if this is more like flu or more like that.